for Did You Know Part 16? Do you know that in Eco Lifestyle you can create different types of community spaces? You can see a list of requirements listed below each type. Community space needs a voting board. The community garden needs planters and a restroom. The marketplace needs spaces where artists can sell things. And each type has optional requirements as well. The maker space needs spaces for people to create, like the fabricator and the recycler. This is a really fun way to make community spaces. Sims 4 Did You Know Part 17 If you've been around The Sims for a while, you've probably heard of the tragic clown that visits you when you're sad. But did you know that you can have him appear by simply looking at a painting? If you go into build mode, you can purchase this tragic clown painting and put him on your wall. This is my Sims move before, then just have them look at the painting. They'll probably start crying, and a message will pop up talking about the lore of the painting. When you have them look at the painting a second time, again they start crying, and then the clown appears. Look at that face. Your sim will get a sad mood lit, and then the clown basically just hangs around your house and cries until he decides to leave. Sims 4 Did You Know Part 18 Did you know that there are hundreds of items hidden in build buy mode? First turn on your cheat codes with testing cheats true, then use the cheat code bb.show hidden objects. Then to see all of the items that you've unlocked, search for debug, and then you'll find a whole bunch of new objects, like bottles and forks and laundry. <laughs> basically anything you can find in the sims world. It's a really cool way to add clutter. Sims 4 Did You Know Part 19 We all know that the welcome wagon and random vampire visits in the middle of the night are a little bit annoying, but did you know that you could prevent random neighbors from walking into your house and onto your lot? You probably already know about locking your doors, but how about the no trespassing options? You can disallow or allow your friends on the lot, keep the vampires out of your house, and even stop the welcome wagon and random neighbors walking in. Now you don't have to worry about random people showing up at your house. Sims 4 Did You Know Part 20 Did you know that with the Dine Out Pack you can now take your sim to restaurants? You have to add a restaurant lot to your game by going to Manage Worlds and then go into your gallery, filter lot by pack to see the six restaurants that came with the Dine Out Pack, and then place the lot anywhere you'd like. Then just travel like you normally do with your sim, restaurants have a knife and fork symbol above them. When you get there, speak to a hostess to request a table. Once at the table, you have several options, like ordering food, ordering a birthday cake, and even drawing on the tables. When you choose order, a menu will actually pop up with a lot of images for you to look at and choose from, drinks, appetizers, main courses, even desserts. You can only choose one food and one drink at a time, but do that for each sim, and then a server will come and take your order. And this is a really cool part, they'll actually take your order back to a chef who is making the food and then your server will bring it back out to your table when it's done. Whenever you're done ordering, you click on the hostess table and then close out your bill. This is honestly one of my favorite gameplay modes. Follow along for more.